Welcome to the Audiophile Barista's weekly vlog where I talk about audio coffee and other things that keeps me busy. Today I have something very nice for you, but first a request. And the request is where do you live? Now some of you may remember this world map. We are in my bedroom now and every morning I wake up to the view of this map and as you can see for example if we take uh, Europe you have a lot of these flags right over here if we look at North America there's also a lot of these flags over here and for every flag there's one of you guys living there and enjoying my content because these are all subscribers um, I have some in Brazil Argentina over here, South Africa, Brisbane, Australia, Jakarta, Indonesia. But there's also a lot of open space. And the last time I asked it was about when I had some 800 subscribers. Now I'm coming up to 1500 subscribers. So I want to invite you again. If you like, if you want to do me a pleasure, uh, tell me where you live and I will plant a flag on my map and wake up to you guys every morning. So that's the request, where do you live? And I have a little pop quiz for you. This is my bedside table, and this is the lamp that I'm using, but this is a movie prop. So tell me, from which movie is this? Do you recognize it? And do you like that movie? And so drop me a line in the comments below and now back to the vlog okay so for today i said i have something interesting because some boxes have arrived in the house right over here and these are two boxes apparently according to the amount of stickers this is very fragile and it also is from China. Now these review samples were not sent uh, to me, but as I told you before, right in the white flat over there, there's a friend of mine living who has a YouTube channel. His name is Andrew. His channel is called Vintage Stereo and he was sent these two boxes um, for review. And after he was finished, he asked me, would you like to review them too? Well, of course I would. What do you think? So what was in these boxes? Well, let me show you. So over here is a loudspeaker. This is a budget loudspeaker. It looks very nice. It has double binding posts. This is what it looks like with the cover on. And right over there is what it looks like with the cover off. They have this very interesting pointy tweeter. Can I get this into focus? And this transparent woofer. So this is a loudspeaker from Sound Artists. I did not know about them, but these boxes and these review samples were um, sent to us from the same people that also sent us the Wilsonton. Now this is a different brand, of course, but it is from the same website. And this website is um, promoting Chinese um, equipment that is not too expensive for the quality that you get. So this is the loudspeaker and that's not all that I got. I also got from the same brand, Sound Artist, this little amplifier. So there you see Sound Artist, the SA200 IA stereo amplifier. It is a 200 watt amplifier. A power button, you have some inputs, also there is a duck inside, so you have an optical input, volume, 
and some tone controls. And that's actually it. If you look at the front, if we look at the rear, you have your power input, you have some nice binding posts for your loudspeaker cables, optical and coaxial inputs if you want to use the internal DAC and there's a few inputs CD, DVD and line and there is a output if you want to use this as a um, preamp only. Now I have connected it for now with the Chromecast audio and down below here you see a Marantz SA CD player that is also used for Blu-rays Blu and DVDs. I don't know if Sound Artist does release a um, CD player, but what I got to play for with the next few weeks and then of course do a review is this, oh over here you see the IR uh, I, because it does come with a remote. So what I'm going to be playing with for the next few weeks is these pair of loudspeakers and this amplifier. And I believe that the total set, two loudspeakers plus a 2 times 200 watt amplifier goes for under $500. So this is a budget solution. I'm going to try it out and see what it does, if it lives up to its price and if this is audiophile quality or not. I will be giving them also a go with the Wilsonton Audio, the loudspeakers, but as that thing is a lot more expensive than the loudspeakers and it is from a different brand, so I'm very curious to find out what does a brand that makes loudspeakers and amplifiers, do they know how to make them combine and sing together as well as possible, even at this low price point? So I hope that's something that I can uh, tell you in a few weeks when the review comes out. So if you have... Um, if you have this amplifier, if you have these loudspeakers, drop me a line in the comments below. What, what do you think of it? And how do you use it? And this is the CD player that, if you remember that I set up my home um, as a complete surround sound in this room, that was the Marantz um, AV receiver. And this is the matching um, Super Audio CD Blu-ray Disc Player, the UD5007. Um, and this one was the easiest to take off its place and use it right over here. So, in the coming weeks you'll be hearing more about this. I have my first impressions, but I will save that for the review. So let me know what you think about how it looks. And that is going to be all for today, because the interesting thing of this week for me is that um, after so many months of hardly doing any work or doing the, the online uh, training, this week I have five days of um, work. So after this I'm going off to work again. I've been doing my trainings behind the laptop, but this is the first week that I am in an actual uh, classroom again. So that's why I keep this one a little bit short. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, please remember the request that I did at the beginning. And from a cloudy Rotterdam, I say thank you for watching and I'll see you next week.